I am Sahar Hosseini and I am a first year sophomore standing here at SLU. I am majoring in marketing and minoring in art and service leadership. I am from Afghanistan. I was born and raised in Afghanistan. I moved here when I was 16. Going to school here as an Afghan immigrant is such a different thing for me than just being a regular student in the class. It made me realize how different it is, the education system and everything, and how much opportunities we have in here that are being denied from us back then in Afghanistan. It's just two different, I could say, two different worlds here in Afghanistan. People are being treated differently. My name is Jeremy Nagel. I am the web marketing manager for the College of Arts and Sciences. I am also an adjunct faculty member for the Department of Communication. I teach public speaking and Sahar was one of my students in the fall semester. Her speeches were all well thought out, well organized, and she is just a fantastic student. One of her speeches was about the atrocities that are going on in her home country of Afghanistan, the treatment of women, is reprehensible. So I've been asked some of the challenges that the women face when they're going to school, but it's surprising that the women are banned and not going to school at all. Schools are banned for women from sixth grade to above, meaning that the girls cannot go to university, they cannot study middle school or high school. It's just limited to sixth grade, and it's not just limitation and banning on the education. Women cannot go outside without a male, Women cannot dress as they want, they have to cover head to toes. It is remarkable that she brought awareness to this subject about how young women don't have basic human rights in Afghanistan. The women cannot have stores, they cannot be employed, they cannot go to parks, gym, any basic human right that they need to have but the government or the Taliban is denying from them. Then I started doing art back in Afghanistan. It was basically me trying to express myself through art when I was not allowed to talk out loud or write or publish something. My art now, they are one of the ways that I can express who I am and express other people's pain. And it was such a big and a huge tool and skill for me to express my people back then in Afghanistan with it. Basically talk with it and be as loud as I can. The fact that Sahar is bringing awareness to it and talking about ways we can make things better for these young women, whether it's through scholarships or other things, donations, I think is remarkable. I believe now that I am here, I have the greatest opportunity to grow and go back and help my people. One of the ways that I can start now would be advocating for them through protest, raising awareness, giving a speech. And if you find yourself discouraged, look at the picture of she felt so comfortable speaking that she went to a rally in downtown St. Louis and spoke advocating for women in her country. The last protest that I participated in was the protest for Hazara genocide. I gave a speech and I read a poem and I basically talked about how young generation in here are responsible for people back there. Now that we have the opportunity to study and grow and they don't, we are the people, we are the hope for them to go back and help them and other people that are in need and need advocating and help around the world. One thing that I really like about SLU is it's so diverse. You can see people from every part of the world and the good thing about that is that you're gonna learn so much about different cultures and different mindset and think and learn a lot more from other people. Sahar is a huge success story, and I have no doubt that she will be a big success in whatever field she chooses.